Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the five uses of perplexity spaces. Okay, like we know perplexity is a free AI tool that you can use for your own research, text generation, and so much when it comes to generative AI. Okay, so we'll start by learning how to access it. So we come to your search bar and just type in perplexity AI just like so, hit on enter, and you brought in over here, you can click on this perplexity AI, like we know it's a free to use AI tool. So of course you have to sign up, you have to create an account and you can sign up directly with Google or with an Apple account or with an email and password if you have used it before. So let's say I'm going to sign up with one of my Gmail accounts. And once we sign up to perplexity, this is the platform you'll be welcomed with ordinarily, it looks like the normal chat GPT that you know, where you have the search area. And then over here, you have the option to use the search feature or research feature for advanced analysis. And you can cause all the websites and even report sources for you. And then you have other features over here, like you can do speech to text. You can just speak to it and it will conduct the research for you. Or you can search the web or you can upload your particular data directly using some of these features. Now, but our main target for today is to look at spaces. Now, spaces are very, very interesting because they give you the opportunity to upload more than one files and you can conduct your research or your charts based on those specific files that you've uploaded okay so you can upload multiple files and you can even generalize or draw conclusions out of those particular charts that you've been conducting with ai at the end of it all now you can be able to set ai instructions in that you can convert materials complex materials into easy to understand formats like frequently asked questions where you can create briefing docs when you have a space okay so very easily and then another advantage is that it enables you to collaborate with others so you can work with your team members on a particular space very easily. So you have the option to work together, citing different kind of content and even analyzing or giving tasks and conducting them together. So let's start by creating a simple space and then we can see this is the first usage of a space. So let's start by saying conduct research. Conduct research for my master's program, for example. All right, so down here, this is a title Now the description is optional. So you can put in any description that you want. And let's say, analyze all my papers here for literature review, for example. And then you have custom instructions, which you can learn how to add this much later. It's optional, but we can learn how to add it much later. So you can go ahead and say continue to create your own space. And you can see right now, our space has been created. Okay, so the name of this space is conduct research for my master's program. Now you can upload the files, you can add links, you can add instructions if you want. So for example, in our own case, you can click to add the instruction. Let's say we we'll copy this. Let's go to our old friend chat GPT and then we can click create a new chat and then we can paste in this. Can you create me a sample instruction, custom instruction for for a space on perplexity AI on the topic. Okay, so this is topic and you can hit on enter and this is going to return the custom instruction that you're going to use for that particular space that you've just created. Now you can go ahead and copy this, copy all of this and then you can use it on your perplexity you can go back to your perplexity and then you can add this as your custom instruction and once you're okay with this you can say okay and now you have added your custom instruction to this particular page so now the next thing is let's try to upload some sources so that we can be able to conduct some research about this so let's go and upload some research papers so let's say we add files okay so let's say i have these research papers Okay, I select these three and then click on open and this is going to upload these papers and then we can kind of conduct some charts with it. So this is the first usage, how you can analyze, draw conclusions, do critical analysis of your research article or papers that you are working on on a particular project. 
Okay, so let's say we have added three sources. You can see searching three sources, and then we can go ahead and add questions regarding these particular sources. And it has given us some suggestions. For example, summarize the key findings in my papers, chart research trends across my papers, suggest recent publications to include. Okay, so let's say I have these questions. Can you generate a summary of the research papers I have uploaded? So let's hit on enter. And as you can see, it is reading through the papers and fetching the information. And let's see what it is going to come up with. So it has analyzed them. And you can see the uploader research paper titled A Review of Flood Management from Flood Control to Flood Resilience. These are the key findings that it has found. The key points from the paper include this, 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 this. Okay. So you can see for this paper, for this one as well, we can click. Okay, so it has just done this. You can see your results from the papers that you've uploaded. Overall, the paper include that it's integrating resilience into flood risk management offers a more effective and sustainable approach. And you can click here to see the source of where it has picked in the paper. So it has analyzed the paper on flood management from control to resilience. So this is very, very interesting. And then you can on your own draw conclusion or you can write or export the content directly from this or you can copy directly and go and paste it somewhere or you can view the source that it has picked in from this information so what are the key findings of the flood management research paper how has the approach to flood management evolved over the years could be another question that you can just ask and it is going to go ahead and see in based on the searches that you have so this is going to be based on the available resources and then now you are searching or you are conducting the research within a particular space so which means you can kind of conclude directly so what can you conclude on this as as to methods to mitigate flooding in Nigeria so let's see who is sending this and be able to see uh, based on this, it is going to come up with what we need. Okay, so this is what it has created for us, a lot of details and it applied it to the Nigerian context for what we can actually use to build resilience to flooding in Nigeria. Okay, so this is how to conclusively generate and work within a particular space. Okay, so let's go into the second usage. Let's create another space so we can go to the next usage. For example, we can come to spaces and then we can click to create a new space. This is the first space that we have. So let's say this one is on analyzing YouTube videos. So we can avoid the description and the custom instruction for now. Uh, we can just go ahead and click on generate. And then this is now analyzing YouTube. So let's add sources. For example, let's say I have links. I have links. Let's add the link over here. I have these two links. So let me remove this first second one. So we can add this link. You can add as many links as you want. So let's add the second one, removing this first one, and then we can click to add. So we have two videos that are from Epic Mentorship and can click to close this. And then we can add it. Can you summarize the content of each of the videos added on this space okay so let's say we have this question and then we don't enter and then it's going to go through it so you can see this is the analysis the youtube link one is on turning data into stunning visuals with flourish studio and that's very correct and this is a summary it has three takeaways from the video which is as we've expected so get the second video is on get free access to the base ai models with not diamond ai and this is a summary of the video these are the three takeaways and then in summary this is a flourish old studio and the not diamond ai empowers users to create a beautiful interactive data visual addition with minimal effort as well as the not diamond pause visuals to democratize access to leading ai models streamlining workflows for writing research and creativity all for free okay so this is from this particular ai so this is the second usage you can bring in any youtube video maybe no matter how many it is going to help you to analyze and create content out of them so let's look at the third usage of publicity spaces so let's go back here 
and let's create a new space and let's say this one is about product analysis okay so we can go ahead and click on continue and then we can come over here this on product analysis you can ask it can you list the trending cameras of 2024 2025 along with their specifications and prices so let's say we have this and let's see how it is going to generate those so we can see it has generated the cameras that we need and then the trending ones canon us r5 mark 2 fuji film tx xt5 nikon z63 you can see them and with their respective details specifications as well as the prices for your own usage so you can ask further questions to this and you can rewrite or ask related questions to this. so what are the top features of the sony a7v and this one as well if you want to ask further questions so the most important part is that it comes down with all the sources that you can click for example if you click on this you'll be able to see the source where it picked in the details or specifications and as well as the prices that it is used for this so the best camera for 2025 it uses some of these features okay so you can just take a look and have an understanding and even have a follow-up questions if you have selected for example number three it is going to give you other details as regards that particular number that you select so this is third usage of perplexity spaces so you can go ahead and list as many products and ask it to analyze it for you to the next usage let's go back to spaces and then Let's create a new space and then let's say we want to have trends, trending things on AI. Okay, so this is going to be in trending things in AI and then you can go back and then you can start asking your question. For example, I have this prompt. Can you give me trends and innovation on AI in engineering within this 2025? Okay, so it's going to bring in the latest trend to consult different kind of articles and then it's going to bring in the different happenings, the latest happenings as regards the AI in engineering. So you can see AI and machine learning integration into engineering. This is what is coming up and you can see AI driven manufacturing and product development, AI performance, transparency and ethics, an intersection with cyber security and data prevention. We can see quite a number of these things and then even it came up with some key courses that we can use or other sources that you can consult while even still while writing you can see the latest ones the sources that it has come up with that you can easily click to have an understanding of where it actually picked in those images now the good side of this is that so you can see so these are the sources where it picked in those information that it has given us so this is the source where it picked in those information quite useful and very credible so we can come over here and then conclusively we can ask it further question and say uh, what can you see deduct based on this trend at uh, the end by the end of 2025 so what can we deduce now based on what is happening? So it is going to give you the information. So by the end of 2025, based on the current trends in AI engineering, several key deductions can be made. So these are some of the things. So the key part, what I want to highlight here is he can conduct a specific research within this particular space and it can deduct answers or make conclusions based on your submissions within a particular space. So let's look at the fifth one, which is going to be trend analysis or blog analysis so let's go back to spaces let's say we'll create a new space and then this is going to be blog analysis for example we we'll have a series of blogs we can ask it to bring out the top five uh, can you give me the top 10 10 blogs for public speaking 
okay can you give me the top 10 blogs for public speaking and then this is going to return the top 10 blogs that it is thinking are going to be best for my own usage we can see each one of them public words blog speak up for success blog sketch bubble blog and so on and in each case you can click to have an, a direct link to that particular blog and you'll be able to see 80 public speaking blogs and websites where it picked in this one so this public words blog you can click to actually visit this blog and see what they are doing so it's very very useful and it picking this information as well for this uh, blog public words you can see it very very nice and why it picked it you can be able to see from here okay so public speaking offer tips motivation humor and insights and among these you can ask for other questions as well you can see most of them so can you give me a summary of the number eight and key takeaways from it okay from number eight so you can now ask follow-up questions based on that particular uh, number eight so summary of the arista communication incorporation blog which is number eight so this is a summary is funded by this is a leading consultancy specializing in executive communication coaching and training so the blog focuses on helping senior leaders and executives communicate with confidence okay so these are the key takeaways also from that particular blog so you can be as specific as you want as you can as you get what you are looking for but this actually summarizes the usage of spaces in perplexity ai depending on what you are trying to create you can be as specific or as broad as you want but you can have complete conversations within a particular space okay so this concludes this simple tutorial about the five uses of perplexity spaces within perplexity ai i hope you enjoyed this video if you find it useful please leave a like and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to keep enjoying videos like this and i will see you in the next one bye